tulikuwa tumeongea
Where is that? Uh, no, it's got a little bit. No, no, no. Uh, you know what I'm saying. If you could allow him to speak, then he can you know, tell me what you need. You know, I'm a Kenyan, and I fed millions of Kenyans. So I must come and see so that I can give a, a proper report. It cannot be that it's restricted. It's an operation area. In a police, the, there's, there's no army inside here. There's no military, military inside there. What is an operation? Operations you do in, in bandage areas. This is just a clear crime has been committed. The media must be allowed. The people must be allowed to see what's up with someone. Yes, but it's a shock. And because of the, you know, the solution no, is stopped. No, there's no discussion about that. I have a job. No, but to But Waziri said, Let us not go one on one. Waziri said, Whoever would wish to go there. I cannot report to Waziri property. Have, a, have an operation order um, um, Yes, no. but uh, he said whoever would want to go in would consult with you and then be allowed in. I'm not aware. So whom are you reporting to so that Baba sees the graves where bodies were exhumed? Because we are the I'm the do we need to call? You don't. Because what I'm going to. Because we are listening to you. Yeah. If we need, because Baba can't just come on the road. This was his operation area. But others came. Even the cities and that this was the airport. Everyone who is coming here. The minister went inside. I'm not aware. We were together. I was there with him. That's my decision. I was there to call. No, no, no. You don't have to tell us your decision. You would decision. Do we call Kisi Kuna? I think I found him. First no, no, of no, all, no, don't no. be angry. No, I'm not being you know, angry. You're a public servant. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. You call the IG then. Uh, call him. Because Baba can't because come no, 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 here. No, no, and you treat him like any other uh, person. Uh, no. No. You're Please, my dear. Excuse me. Linda. Ah, <laughs> No. <laughs> 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 This is Shakahola. This is Kilifi County. We are the leaders who are here. I'm the women representative. Baba comes, you are walking away. You are walking away. You are walking away. You are walking away. You are so are we doing a case? We are not doing a case. So you are an officer. Yes. You are a service service. Yeah, to, to these people. Mm -hmm. Sasa uki walk away out of Baba and do not be to pande gari to end. Umeleza pande wako. Ndo tukwambia yeye aone yale makaburi. Tumpigie IG. Unasema pigeni unaenda. Unafambiaje kama kiongozi? At your rank. Oh shim baba. How do you walk out of him? Tuambie tupigie IG. Uh, to be here, Nani, Marika Mamlaka, who come and share up, was to go up on a bed. Advise us, advise me. Not a question as I was out there. Excuse me, and you will see the Makasa. Unamakasiriko, I see the emotion, and you go get a telling you that to teach a woman to come by me, women to come by you for your family. Some way, Papa Punisha. All of us are working for you. But you don't want to work for us. How do I work for you? Nimekuja vizuri, nimepea baba Those are the rules. I cannot break the rules of operating. We let me operate to allow anything. All over the world. The most of here hmm. It's okay. It's happened all over the world. And you never... Members of the public to 
seen. Look at the media. The media, people representing humanitarian organizations. I think, I, I think what you're talking about is something. Apart from me. No. He's a leader. No, but you're not going to. Kenya. Atu, atu fuki, ah, tuambie, imekushinda yeah. hii ya kwa lao yeah. baba. Yeah. Tuambie nani tunapigia simu. Yeah. You cannot do that. No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. cloud. What are you talking about? We are talking about. Should I talk to you, man? Now, again, that's a case. No, 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 Um, Your Excellency, Michikwe Nafasi, Kukualika, Shakahola, Eneohili, La Janga, Namafa, Sisi, Viongozi wa Kilifi County, Tunakushukuru, Kwa Mana, umeonyesha moyo wa kujali watu wa kilifi diposta umewacha shughuli zako na kuweza kufika hapa kuja kuomboleza na watu wa kilifi baba tunakukaribisha hapa ni nyumbani kwako na wakati wowote uh, unakaribishwa kitu ambacho kimetufadhaisha sisi viongozi wa Kilifi County ni kwamba waziri alitangaza eneo hili kuwa ni eneo la uchunguzi na akatumia kizungu disturbed area lakini hakufungia mtu alikuwa wazi kabisa kwamba yeyote atakayehitaji kuingia hapo ndani ni kuwe na mawasiliano na tumejaribu mawasiliano lakini ni kama kuna watu wengine wanakanyagia huko juu ili kukudhalilisha lakini sisi hatutaliwachia hapa tutalifuatilia mpaka tupate kujua ule ukweli wa mambo vile ulivyo Shakahola iko katika Magarini constituency na Malindi sub county kufikia hapo ni mwalike jirani hapa aweze pia uh, kusema machache karibu machina Asante sana ndugu yangu Harrison Kombe mbunge wa Magarini. Mimi naitwa Mina Laura Mnyazi na ni mbunge wa eneo bunge la Malindi. Na kama mnavyotuona hapa leo tumeweza kuandamana na kinara wetu wa chama cha ODM His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga na tumeweza kufika hapa masaa mawili yaliyopita. Tumefika hapa kwa amani kama watu na viongozi ambao tunajali watu wetu tumekuja kujua ni mambo gani ambayo yanaendelea hapa na ni watu wangapi ambao wameathirika hapa na nyinyi watu wa media mumekuwa mko hapa na sisi baba his excellency hajapatiwa ruhusa ya kuweza kuingia katika hili shamba hili ni jambo la kusikitisha sana kwa sababu mtu ambaye anaheshimika mtu ambaye ana command watu wengi zaidi hapa ndani ya Kenya sielewi ni kwa sababu gani baba Raila Molo Odinga amekatazwa kuenda kuangalia kule katika yale katika pale ambapo mili imezikwa. Na swali langu mimi kwa serikali ni kitu gani ambacho wanaficha mpaka leo hii wanaogopa Raila Amolo Odinga siweze kuingia pale ndani. Ni kitu gani ambacho wanaficha 
mpaka leo hii watu wa media ndio ambao mmelipua hii story wamewakataza kuingia pale ndani mimi nataka niseme hivi baba usivunjike moyo kwa sababu katika viongozi wa kitaifa ni wewe peke yako ndio ambaye umeweza kufika hapa baba his excellency ruto hajafika hapa gashagwa hajafika hapa yule ambaye ako na imani na watu wa kilifi amekuja kuomboleza na sisi yeye naye amekatazwa kuingia katika makaburi na kwenda kuzungumza na watu wake je ni haki kweli hiyo ni haki kweli hiyo baba usivunjike moyo kuwa na sisi watu wa kilifi tunakupenda na kwa sababu umetujua wakati wa dhiki na pia sisi tutakujua wakati wa raha santeni Asante waandishi wa habari wakilifi wa wale ambao wako witnesses wale wa red cross wale mashirika tofauti baba karibu hapa tuko shakahola tumekuja kama wenyeji viongozi mimi mheshimiwa mbeyu mbunge wa jimbo la kilifi tumeandamana na baba tangu asubuhi alitupa taarifa anakuja leo ikabidi tumngoje na tuje naye tumefika hapa tumeambiwa vitu tofauti viongozi wamekuja hapa wakiingia kule ndani wakishuhudia wakiona ile makaburi watu wetu walizikwa na pasta makenzi na watu wake wa mkono imenifadhaisha sana komanda wa hichi kituo anatuambia anasema hatutaingia baba raila morodinga ni kiongozi wa kimataifa kiongozi wa kenya anakatazwa na ofisa anasema yeye anasema hatutaingia wandisho habari wengine mlikuwa hapa tukamwambia atupe yuni nani mwingine anaweza kutupa ruhusa baba ameshinda pale masaa mawili anapigia waziri wa security mheshimiwa kindiki ngoja ngoja na consult na consult paka saa hizi kindiki hashiki simu ya baba ni nini mnaficha serikali ni nini inafichwa hapa ndani ya shakahola nilizungumza kule bunge mulijua watu wakastavishwa hapa wakakosa chakula na maji wakafa wakazikwa hamukusema Leo viongozi tumekuja mnatukataza kuona yale makaburi yalifukuliwa watu wetu. Ni nini mnaficha katika shoka hola? Uhusiano wenu na haya ma, hizi maiti na pasta makenzi ni gani? Mtuambie. How do you refuse baba Raila Molodinga to come visit this place? What is it? Mimi kama mama county ni nini mnanizuia nisiingie? Maana nilizungumza pale ndani ya bunge, viongozi nyinyi wa serikali mnahusika na leo mmenionyesha wazi mnahusika na historia ya Mackenzie. Hamwezi kunikataza ku, 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 mimi? Hamwezi kukataza baba? Na hadhi yake ya kitaifa ya kimataifa, mnamkataza kwa nini? Kuona makaburi peke yake, hatuoni mili? Kufukua mili mlisitisha. Hakuna mwili unafuguliwa kule, hataki kuona mili, mimi siwezi kuona mwili. Tunataka tuone yale makaburi umesitisha vyombo vya habari wasiende Red Cross mmewazuia wale activist wengine mmewazuia baba Raila Molo Odinga anakuja shakahola mnamzuia kwa nini nini mnaficha ni kitu gani hamtaki sisi tunataka kushuhudia makaburi tu hatuoni mili ni nini hii mnatukataza kiniki pale huko nilikwambia u step aside tufanye uchunguzi leo umekataza baba kuingia shakahola sisi ndo wenyewe hapa ni kwetu hapa ni kilifi mnakatazaje viongozi Mtuambia siri yenu Hii siri mnaficha ndani ya shakahola hii mili imefukuliwa hata kuona mili sisi Ni haki ya maiti ni haki ya kisayansia na wana health tusione hatutaki kuona mili maana hakuna mili inafukuliwa kufikia sasa hii mlisitisha hiyo process Ili ile ya malindi ya kuchunguza iweze kuendelea na tumekubali hilo ni baba aone akanyage pale makaburi yalifukuliwa nyinyi mnatukataza vipi mheshimiwa kidiki pale huko baba amekupigia simu tano hujashika zile zilizoshika umesema una consult consultation yako sasa hizi kushiki simu that means umekatazwa huko juu uruhusu baba aingie katika area 
hii ni area yangu mimi nikiwa mama county mimi unanikatazaje kuingia hapa wewe unakuja unaingia mimi unanikatazaje nikiwa mama county nikiandamana na baba sheria hizi ni gani zinatoka wapi sasa tuambie ukweli tunawapa makataa mtuambie ukweli wenu kama serikali nini mnaficha ndani ya shakahola maiti ngapi zimebaki sasa kule ambao nyinyi mnajua kuanzia mwanzo paka pale yamefikia tunaheshimu maiti hatutaka kuona maiti sisi kama viongozi tutembee ile area imefukuliwa tumeona katika tv tuone ni hapa ndo tumefika baba amefika hapa pahali kuomboleza na watu wetu wa rais pale huko usikie hili kilio cha viongozi wa kilifi pamoja na baba Raila Amolo Odinga bipartisan kwa hivyo tuongeze hii issue ya shakahola kwa bipartisan mtuambie ukweli kama ni kushikana kuelezana ukweli ni lipi mnaficha ndani ya shakahola ni watu wetu wamezikwa kule washafu kuliwa mili mia moja na moja ni nini kuona makaburi yashafu kuliwa baba asione kama kiongozi wa kitaifa Rais Uhuru Amin Ruto ndo nikumbuke Uhuru alikuwa beta Rais Ruto peana ruhusa baba aone makaburi tu yaliyofukuliwa because lazima hii ya kuwa amewekwa hapa masaa mawili imekufikia wewe Rais Ruto mpe ruhusa baba aone sisi wakilifi kama viongozi walio mamlakani tutarudi tena hapa Baba ataenda sisi wenyeji tutakuja. Kwa hayo baba atazungumza tutaenda kuzungumza kule mkutano huko hapa hapa Shakahola na tutazidi kuzungumza ra, zaidi. Na kuna wananchi wetu pale tutawaambia ukweli serikali ni nini mnaficha ndani ya Shakahola. Asante. Pati leader wetu mstahiki Raila Molo Odinga uh, wabunge wetu wa hapa Kilifi County na waenzi mumefika kwenu mumefika nyumbani tukiwa na mwenyeji ambaye ni mbunge wa Magarini Hari Kombe mheshimiwa alafu jirani wake wa karibu mheshimiwa Amina Nyazi na Mama County our women rep Gertrude Mbeyu na hata wale wafanyekazi wa county ambao tuko nao hapa delivery unit director Fikirini Jacobs na officer wa monitoring and evaluation Tom Dawa nataka kusema ya kwamba toka tupate janga hili la shakahola mimi kama naibu wa gavana jimbo hili letu la Kilifi County Flora Chibule nilikuwa ndani pale shakahola tukiwa pale tulikuwa kwa na media coverage pale siku tatu tukizihesabu tuko mahali pale ambapo tuliweza wakati ule kufukua mili tisaini sehemu moja ndipo tukapokea CS kindiki na hapo tuliweza siku hiyo saa 12 akatoa idhini ya kwamba imekuwa a disturbed area hapo ndipo gavana wangu aliweza kushika doria akawa yeye ndio anakuja mali hapa na siku hiyo mvua ilikuwa kwa nyingi sana hakuweza kuingia pale lakini twasema sisi ndio wenyeji wa janga hili kutokea watu wa kilifi tunaomba kwa taadhima sisi ambao mwajua toka jambo hili kuanza tumekuwa mstari wa mbele kupeana misaada mahema yametoka Kilifi County vyakula ambavyo enforcement wale ambao wako pale kutoka national government tumekuwa tukiwapatia nilisoma hapo awali yale mambo walokuwa wanataka na tukawapatia ikiwemo gloves body bags masks na mambo kama hayo sisi kama county tume rescue watu 36 ambao kuka kwao ni county inayosimamia hivi kuna upasuaji 
pale Malindi Hospital. Na nataka kusema serikali ya county government yetu ya Kilifi imesaidia pakubwa kwa mambo ya autopsy na zile regalia zake zinazotakikana. So we are part and parcel na tunasikia uchungu ya kwamba hatuhusishwi kikamilifu. Sisi we are harmless. Tunakuja kama watu wanaopenda nchi ya Kenya. Maana ni janga ambalo tumelitangazia ya kwamba ni nchi ya Kenya. Maana yake waliofukuliwa wengi wao wakiwa ni wabara. Lakini pia wenyeji pia wako. Hili ni janga ambalo limetukumba sisi wote. Na yoyote yule anayekuja kusaidiana na sisi tumesema tuna open door policy. Ningewaomba muruhusu mstahiki Raila Odinga ambaye is a senior citizen ameonyesha ndani ya schedule yake kubwa nyingi ameweza kushuka paka huku. Mheshimiwa Kinviki unajua huku ni mbali kiasi gani na tuna enzi vile unakuja mara kwa mara lakini tunge tungempa heshima yake haswa viongozi wangu wa MPs ambao wana kazi nyingi lakini wamesema wacha wafike tupewe nafasi hata tutamaliza nusu saa tunakwenda mali pale tunaangalia hawataki kuangalia the actual exhumation of those bodies tunataka kuangalia pale ili tutoe sala zetu na tuondoke vile mimi nimekwenda safari tatu na wale maofisa wangu wa county na hata the fourth estate ikiwa pale tunakuja na amani sisi kilifi ni watu wa amani azimio leaders tumekuja na amani na mimi nafikiri mgala muwe lakini haki umpe na haki yetu ni kwamba tuweze kupata nafasi kwa hivyo kwa thadhima ya hali ya juu sana ningependa kumuita party leader wetu kiongozi ndani ya Kenya yetu ambaye ametuonyesha ule moyo ya kwamba kilifi tuko pamoja nataka kumkaribisha mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga aweze kutoa hotuba yake asante sana karibu ni neno ya kusikitisha maana mimi leo nimekuja kama kiongozi wa muungano wa azimio na wana azimio wengi walinituma na risala ya rambi rambi kutoka kwa mheshimiwa Kalonzo Msioka Martha Karua Uhuru Kenyatta na kadhalika ili nije hapa nishudie yale ambayo yamefanyika hapa Shakahola tukio la Shakahola sio la Kenya peke yake ni kitu ambaye ime piga ulimwengu na botua yale ambayo yamefanyika hapa ulimwengu yote inauliza ya kitu gani imefanyika kule Kenya na mambo ambayo yamefanyika hapa sio mara ya kwanza imefanyika katika eneo zingine katika ulimwengu na tunajua vile uchunguzi wa aina hii hufanyika Sijaona wakati wote ambayo uchunguzi hali yanafanyika iwe kule Jamaica iwe kule Philippines iwe kule Jordani kama waandishi wa habari wanazoeleweka kuingia pale ambayo uchunguzi unafanyika Ni mara ya kwanza kuona serikali inapiga marufuku waandishi wa habari hata wale wale kutoka ya shirika ya ya ni ya haki ya binadamu kuingia na kuona, kuona. mimi nilikuja manake mimi sitaji idhini wa wote katika taifa letu nifike hapa na nilisema mimi nakuja haikuwa ni sikisiri na mimi nimekuja hapa askari ambaye anahusika hapa anaongea kwa njia ambaye hakuna heshima hata kidogo atia anahusika ana amri tusiingie nikamuuliza sheria gani hiyo nasema kuna sheria ambayo imewekwa ati hapa sasa imetangazwa ni mbali ambayo ni kuna hali ya hatari alafu nikamwambia basi piga simu kwa mkubwa yako 
Iwe ni inspector general au waziri. Yeye mwenyewe akatoroka. Nimepiga simu kwa bwana waziri bwana Kindiki. Kindiki kaniambia ati yo hapo sasa imekuwa tangazwa ni, ni hali ya ya hatari sasa hivyo sasa ni vigumu kuruhusa watu waingia lakini kuna wajumbe ambao wanakuja wa kamati ile ya ya nini ya nishati ati wanakuja hapa na mimi naweza ku jumuika na wao tuende nao pamoja nimesubiri hapa wale wabunge wajafika mpaka hapa lakini mambo ya kusikitisha ni kuona kwamba wabunge wanaweza kuruhusiwa kuingia mimi siwezi kuruhusiwa kuingia hiyo ni madharau sana baba madharau kubwa sana manake wale wabunge wengi hapa ni wabunge wangu oh yes wabunge wangu mimi ndio kiongozi wao wao wanaweza kukubaliwa ati wanaingia pale lakini mimi siwezi kuingia ni kitu gani ambayo serikali inaficha hapa yale ambayo yamefanyika siku ya leo ni mambo ya madharau madharau makubwa sana na yale ambayo yamefanyika hapa maneno ya kutatanisha vile watu walikuwa naletwa hapo wanaweko pale bila chakula mpaka wafe wengine wanapigwa na si nyundo si risasi si nini alafu na ziko pamoja kwenye kaburi maneno ya kutatanisha lakini wale ambao wanahusika wengine wanajulikana wameonekana na mapicha wakiwa na watu viongozi wakubwa kule juu kwa hivyo wale jamaa hawezi kusimamia uchunguzi ya mambo ambayo yalifanyika hapa na kwa wao wenyewe wanajua wao wako pamoja wamekuwa wanaomba pamoja iwe ni hapo Malindi iwe ni Mombasa iwe ni Nairobi iwe ni Narok kila mahali wamekuwa pamoja wameonekana kwa picha hii mambo yamefanyika hapa ni njia moja ya kujaribu sifa ya dini dini kuna viongozi wengi ambao wameingia kama dini dini ambayo hawana haja na mambo ya dini hata kwa mambo ya Mungu wao ni watu wafanye biashara wanataka kujifaidisha na biashara ya mambo ya dini lakini hao watu wote hawana moyo ya 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 ya, 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 ya kumcha Mungu hao watu ni wakaidi hao watu ni criminals ambayo inatakana washtakiwe tulisema mwaka jana tunataka tuwe na viwango vya kukagua hizi madini madhehebu tofauti tofauti ijulikane ili ipi ni halali na ili bandia wakapiga kelele kweli kweli ati wale watu wa waganga Hao watu wa ganga wanataka kuzuia watu wa, 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 wa dini kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu. Sasa tutakuwa na rahisi katika ikulu ambayo ni mtu ambaye anamcha Mungu. Ale yote ni unafiki. Ale yote ni unafiki na sasa imeonekana dhahiri shairi ya kwamba hao watu ni yao si mambo ya Mungu. Na kila Jumapili wao kanisani. Na viongozi wa kanisa wanaoacha hao jamaa kwenda kupiga siasa ndani ya makanisa yao. Viongozi wa madini yetu yote wamekashifu mambo ya dini. Wamewaacha mambo ya dini. Wamewaacha kanisa inakuwa sasa ni platform ya kupiga siasa. Tumesema hayo yote yatakuja yatashindwa. Na tumesema shetani itashindwa. Itashindwa. Itashindwa kabisa. Sasa because this is a very important matter and it is an international issue i came down here today to come and witness what has happened in chakahola what has happened in chakahola is uh, something that has actually shocked not only the people of kenya but the entire world what has happened here innocent people have been strangulated to death some of them have been suffocated 
Some of them will be starved of food and water. Some of them have just been strangulated. And this is something that is so heinous that is basically abhors, I mean horrifies the entire world. We have seen that these kind of actions cannot happen in a country where there is proper law and order. The question that is being asked, where were the security agencies when this kind of crime was being committed in such a magnitude? Where were they? And now they are coming after the act. They are coming now to protect graves, protect dead bodies. The responsibility of every government is to protect life and property of the people of the country, not to protect graves. Now, why should a government deny access to a scene like this? Because it's a scene of crime. But the media should be allowed to move in and be able to cover what is happening in there. I know this kind of thing has not happened for the first time in the world. We have seen these things happening in Jamaica, in Brazil, in Philippines, in Colombia. Even here in Africa it has happened. But the investigations have been conducted in a very transparent manner. So you don't see why there should be opacity in investigating what has happened here in Shakahola. The only inference that can be drawn from this is that the people higher up in the government know what happened here. They know, Baba. There are people who have been seen in, occasion, in, in, in functions with the senior people of this government. There are people who have been masquerading as uh, uh, worshippers. People who have been all over the country. They have been seen with very senior officials talking and there are people who have been actually engaging also in politics in the name of church. We have said before that church should not be used as a political platform. But what we have seen is that most of our churches have surrendered the jurisdiction to the politicians. We see every Sunday Church has been used as a platform for political pontification. We have been insulted in churches, and the religious leaders are sitting there actually cheering those politicians. We've said this should not happen. And we've also said sometimes last year that there should be vetting of some of these denominations, because some of them come and are not properly vetted, registered, but they're just being licenses to rob people of their wealth. Licenses to do what's happened in Shakahola. Shakahola is a shame on the conscience of the people of Kenya. It's a shame on the political leadership of this country. This should never happen. I was told that I cannot ask, go in there that I could only be given a guided tour accompanied by members of the Security Committee of Parliament. I say that is also a shame. I do not need to go into this place accompanied by members of Parliament. So I, I, I condemn what has happened here today, and I want to say that we are not going to be deterred. We, as a Zemiola Moja One Kenya, will stand for the rights of the people of Kenya. And we will protect the life and property of all Kenyans. And we will deal with anybody who is actually causing harm and the lives of our people. I want to say, shame on you. Shame on, shame on, you. on, you. Shame on you. And shame on you. Thank you.